Hey, all you warriors out there, Jerry Gladstone, author of The Common Thread of Overcoming Adversity and Living Your Dreams and founder of The Common Thread Success Academy. Today, let's talk about procrastination and why we do it. And I certainly hope my friend Garfield is listening up. Check him out. No doubt he is procrastinating. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. He's still in his PJs and his bunny slip is completely crazy. Got to get rid of his procrastination and yours. Here's what the top experts say why we procrastinate. Fear of failing, lack of motivation, lack of focus, feeling overwhelmed and underskilled. And I'm sure you can add to that list why you may procrastinate. But when I interviewed many of the top celebrities featured within the Common Thread book and asked them one simple question, why do people procrastinate and why do so many people have a hard time getting started in their own pathway to success? My friends, to say the least, the response was overwhelming to that question. Fear, fear of failure. So let's concentrate our efforts with this video on understanding and overcoming our fears. Fact is, no one can truthfully say he or she has never experienced fear in their life, right? I have a fear of being on video. We all have fears. Fear of failure, fear of embarrassment, fear of rejection and loss fear of being misunderstood or being judged too harshly. The list of fears that influence procrastination can seem endless at times. Keep this in mind. Whether in sports, business, or some other endeavor, your true nemesis is not the competition. It is often your very own internal fear. It is the anticipation of pain. It is the assumption that the worst case scenario will play out. This constant negative flow of what may happen paralyzes you into inaction. Fear can stop you dead in your tracks. It can and will cause you to procrastinate and focus on the what ifs. How you handle fear will have a direct impact on whether you can achieve what you desire or not. Here's a question for you. In your life, has fear held you back? Has it caused you to procrastinate? Sadly, chances are your answer is yes. Here's what I would like you to do. Try to shift the way you look at fear. Do not focus your intention or your, your attention on the difficult tasks at hand. Why? Because focusing on difficulties will no doubt increase your chances for procrastination. Focus instead on the price that you will pay for not taking the necessary steps along the way to your desired outcome. What do I mean by that? Your fear of not accomplishing what you want must motivate you to stay strong and stay the course. Understand it is vitally important to have fear under control to compete and to win. You will either control it, my friends, or it will control you. Overcoming procrastination and fear will require you not to worry about future potential problems. Perhaps it sounds simplistic, but there is no time to remember past mistakes or past disappointments. Do not drag negative experiences into your current situation. That will only slow you down. I will repeat. Do not drag negative past experiences into your current situation that will only slow you down. Now here's the good news. There are many benefits when you manage your fears and stop procrastinating. Accomplishing your goals is just one. People who take on their fears have much more self-confidence. When you face your fears, you will discover what's inside of you and what you are made out of. You will learn how to tap into your innermost strength, not only to grow, but to thrive. Look into your past and recognize how the most trying times taught you the greatest lessons. Facing those challenges and fears likely made you stronger. Hold on to those accomplishments and pull them out of your success toolbox when necessary. If you can work past your fears, which by the way, will reduce your procrastination, you can soon realize that whatever the outcome of the event or situation may be, it is likely much less dramatic than the outcome you originally feared, right? If you are looking to model yourself after others who have achieved greatness, try and develop their perspective. It's okay to fail because procrastinating and not going after what I want 
clearly outweighs any fears I may experience along the way. Your fear of losing and the pain with a physical or mental must be overshadowed by your deep desire to win. I want you to achieve remarkable new heights. I want you to stop thinking and start doing. I want you to get procrastination gone from your life once and for all. So keep this in mind. Rule number one has always been and will forever be, don't beat yourself, don't get in your own way, and don't come up short because of lack of effort, preparation, or self-doubt. Achieving success is not a spectator sport. You can't procrastinate or sit on the sidelines. You must be the most active participant when it comes to your own success. Don't look to anyone else for your achievements. The moment you can honestly take responsibility for all you do, is the moment you begin your journey towards reaching your goals. By the way, if you think you can benefit from working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I am certified by the International Coach Federation as a success coach. So if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, shoot me an email, let's see if it's a good fit. I love working with people. Until next time, stay strong, be a warrior, and keep moving forward.